expose Willie Paul. Yeah, um, you know we had history, shit happened, things happened. Many things that we both are not proud of, but it's been two years and it's not good to, you know, kubebam to grudges and all, it's exhausting, you know, it's very exhausting. So, um, because I tarnished his name publicly, let me clean it up first before I approach him, you know. Hello guys, this is Mr. Alotmo, your senior Udaku reporter. And of course, Alotmo is coming. Niko Maino Flani, Niki Cheki. Niko Maino Yakare, Nimekuja Kutembea Huku, Baada ya Kumtafuta Msupa. I've been looking for this lady for over a year now. Tumekua tukitafutana, tupigia story. Juzi kidogo wakasema mekuiti mtandao. Na kwele akakuita tujona haki make any, uh, any post. Tukua tukipigia story na kuja msupa. Uh, wakuone kwanza. Ah, msupa nakaa vizuri. Msupa nakaa vizuri. Uh, director, unamuona vizuri? First of all, thank you so much kwa kutualika kwenu. Uh, tunashukuru. Espokuwa ni usiku. <laughs> Uko aje? Niko poa, I'm a very spontaneous person. So... Kitu kikujetu kwa kichwa atakama ni sangapi na uko available. Let's do it. Ah, kabisa. Yeah. She's very spontaneous. Ah, mzungu uyu. Uko aje lakini unandelea aje. It's been long. Uh, I think last time tulikuwa nawe kitambo. Parklands. Right? Mm, memory yangu ni mbae. Na yu kizungu yote. My memory is bad. Wanasema nga geniuses memory zao ni mbae. Tuna, tuna, inaituaji acute amnesia, tuna sawa vitu araka sawa. Acute? Acute amnesia. <laughs> sawa, sawa. I think my, 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 direct, my director and I, we need to go back to school uh, to study English only. Kujeni kwa angu, ni wafunze. Kujia klasa zaku? To, um, the normal one, ili to simple, don't have to go back to school. Si tuna joke, tuna joke. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. So, nataka wangalio kamera, salimi mafansu wako, salimi wa Kenya, na wambie kitu kabla tuanze hii interview. Kwanza uliku menuliza hawa mai, na usuja kujibu yo swali. Juu unalenga. Aa, niuliza tena. <laughs> Mambo vipi? Niuliza ni kwa aje. Mambo ni Aa. default question na default answer ni poa sana. So, what am I supposed to ask? Wenye uliku menuliza? How are you? How have you been? Uh, kutoka usemo natoka mtandao wa tujaono ki make an announcement. Though we are coming to that. But first of all, how have you been? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much <laughs> for asking. I've been amazing. I've experienced peace on another level. Tranquility, serenity, you, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the state of nonchalant. So, my little phone's in English. <laughs> that state of calmness on another level. You know, that time for myself, just me, myself, and I, you know, no one involved for like a good three months. And I've been amazing, honestly, mending my relationship with God, getting close to Him, seeing life on a different point of view, totally different, of course, you know, because I'm putting God very close, obviously it's like, in, I'm guided by the Spirit of God, so yeah, um, I've been amazing, so that's what I can say, I've been amazing. You've been amazing, and that is really amazing. So, um, mbona uliamua kuja to the public kusema kwamba you're quitting social media, na kika kusema ukweli uka quit kabisa, atujano ki make any post, I mean, why, why did that happen? Na wewe, Having the fact that wewe ni msani, wewe ni mtu mbae ukifanya kitu, kinafaa kionakana kwa mtandao, I mean, why? Like I've said, I'm very spontaneous. I'm the most random person you'll ever encounter. So, literally, I just woke up one morning and I just felt like everything in my life was wrong. And so, when you feel like everything is wrong, you have to go back to the drawing board, go back to square one and recollect yourself and try to retrack yourself you know put yourself back on track so that is how i felt and um maybe i used the wrong word when i said quitting because you know when you go back to the drawing board you may or may not go back to what the things you are doing what you are doing you know so i'll you know take back my words and say uh, 
I'm still thinking about, you know, I love music. It's one of my greatest passions. So if I say quit, uh, but you know, I also have fans who I'm sure I was disappointed when they got the news that I'm no longer doing music. But like I've said, I just felt like everything was going wrong in my life. I needed to like, you know, make things right. Fast with myself, you know. And to God fast. So again, I had to go back to this God and ask him, what am I doing wrong? Guide me, guide my steps. Yeah. Fantastic. I think what we're going to say is that we're making a post. So you are now planning to come back or something? I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. I'm but you your drawing board. But you have a drawing board. <laughs> Square one. Square one. I'm going to see you later. Of course, I'm going to see you later. You're going to be spontaneous. You're going to be kidogo, cute amnesia. Random. Spontaneous is like random. Like impulse. Very, like, imid- like you just, a thought just crosses your mind and you act upon it. Yeah, that's what random, spontaneous Means, yeah. I'm looking forward to knowing how much you charge per lesson. But before that, <laughs> uh, a, a few years, a few months ago, a man, over a year ago, you came to the public in an interview. Na kulikuwa na story kubwa sana mbao ulezungumzia which, which caught internet on a total stand. Still, like internet ilis mama ikakuwa like, first of all, why is she talking about mm-hmm. this guy when you make a music I'm talking about I Willie Paul I understand the language <laughs> yes <laughs> I understand you don't have to so uh, you, you came to the public uh, accuse Willie Paul so many things that he raped you he tried to rape you so many stuffs so mm, I mean first of all before I could why you did that how did that whole thing come to the public kuzungumzia watu kwanza kuongea kwa internet how did it affect you as a person as an artist um i'll go back to my word spontaneous random impulsive that me doing that interview was very it was an impulse impulsive reaction i felt bitter i felt angry i felt I felt so many things. I, it was a whole, it was, my, my emotions were all over the place. A turmoil of emotions. I was just overwhelmed. And um, at that very moment, uh, then, at the time, I was not really okay mentally, like psychologically, you know, a lot going on in my life, facing so much at the time. So it was the interview was an impulse, and I hate to say this because I I literally live life with no regrets. But I must say it's one of the things I regret doing because right after I did it, like just after I did it, I was like, what did I just do? Because I didn't think about you know impulse is something you do it you just do it the moment it crosses your mind and you don't think about the consequences you don't think about the repercussions so that's exactly what i did so i didn't think about what would happen by the way one would think i I wanted to draw attention to myself now that i'm not working anymore i'm not doing music anymore and i was under someone's label i want someone to you know see me and you know help me you know i i did not even think about anything like that anything of that sort so it was a very impulsive i just I was like, let's screw things up. I was just angry. So, yeah, don't ask me whether what, whatever I said was true or not. Let's just leave it at, it was not the best choice I've ever made in my life. Yeah. Fantastic. So, have you gone ahead uh, and looked for Willie Paul? Maybe in person? So, what you are carrying, sana, eh? Wacha wacha wapita kidogo. Huku Karen mnashin eh karibu na. Huku karibu na Wilson hapo so eh huku ndege tumeshazizoea. Kidogo kidogo I think hiyo ni ya kwanza tuki before tuanze interview zilikuwa zinapita mingi. So allow me to ask you this this one question. Have you maybe looked for Willie Paul in person maybe mkazungumza mkakaa chini mka solve zile issues mpaka mkakuwa sawa kabisa ama kunaendaje? Well that is even why I called you here today. Because before I approach him and have a conversation with him, you know, um, 
I'll use something I saw in a, a reality TV show, Miscare Real Housewives of Nairobi. When I, said, well, I had someone say, I want to mention any news. Uh, you embarrassed me in public. <laughs> you have to apologize in. So I'm doing something of that sort, you know, because I tarnished his name publicly. Let me clean it up first before I approach him. You know, you know, before I patch up, you know, you understand my language. Yeah, so that's why I've called you here today. I need to like make it public and then to the tough turn, huh? Please. Please what? Proceed. <laughs> uh, 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 I've answered your question. Na, uh, umesema, mm -hmm. The reason why you called me is that you want. You met. You met. You met. You You met. You met. You 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 so we work on the healing process. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be police up on, on camera <laughs> like Miss P is officially doing it now. Okay. So I, I beg you should look at the camera now. <laughs> okay. So for there, will you Paul? Yeah. Um, you know we had history. Shit happened. Things happened. Many things that we both are not proud of, but it's been two years and it's not good to, you know, kubebam to grudges and all. It's exhausting, you know, it's very exhausting. So, um, if you see this, I'll try to reach out. <laughs> but if you see this, you can also reach out maybe before I do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I hope he gets the message. Mm. Fantastic, I think. To get to me platform, what to let's tag Willie Paul Kwai. I've given a message. I think uh, it's, it's, it's very wise um, to co apologize. I think in a one of Kwambia Tum to sorry, it means really a lot. So, to Kendalea, so Unam Tafuta Sasa. Yeah. One on a smile. Sin with you, sorry, yes. <laughs> Sawa sawa. So are we aki kunangoma mulifanyanga kali? Laya. Ile ngine ya kiwesila muslamu ni tangu waje? Mashallah. That was actually my favorite song. Yes. Na kuna hii ngine. Zilikuwa tatu. Fall in love. Yondo napenda. Siji katoto kanyari kamefanya. Ni sawa tu. So are we expect okay after msha watafutana? Of course, I know we will pull a shower na video already at, until this point. Asha yona, asha, asha, asha fikiria. Are we expecting something from you guys? Na uh, before you answer that, tell me. I'm a tell us. Ulikuwa mis maybe kufanya project na yewa kati ya mjakuwa mkiongea for those two years. To be very honest, if, if music and work relationship between him and I was part of this ordeal of wanting to approach him and apologize, I don't think it would be a pure intention because it will look like I want to get something from it. It's a very genuine quest that I'm on. It's purely just to make things right. If anything good comes of it, like when I say that, I mean what people are hoping for, well and good. If not, me bora ni what my heart feels like it needs to do that's all I that's all I care about yeah zote mbili si ndio nimejibu maswali zote 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 so hata sijui tuende wapi sasa i hope i hope it happens you know uh nikiwa na na mtu fulani na kuanga naye kwa nyumba kila siku wanamwambia kama kuna ngoma naweza penda kusikia tena ni ya Willie Paul na Miss P Keep keep praying. Uh, wa Kenya tuwame pamoja. <laughs> keep praying. Because mm. uh, it's nothing I've thought of. I've, I've not thought about it. So I, I really, I don't know. 
Yeah. And no kumbuka, I'm still on my drawing board. I don't know if I want to go back, you know. So yeah. Tukumbuke bado when random so. Okay, sawa so, sawa. So. I think we, at, at this point we are done. I'd like you to talk to fans, my fans wako, tell them what they should expect from you should they expect uh, a solo project or something from a very spontaneous person there is no expectations just wait to be surprised you know i i like being unpredictable cuz it means there's mystery you know and mystery breeds curiosity and that is what i like so if you want more from me just pray <laughs> yeah just yeah cuz um you never know like i've said i'm very random i mean just again wake up one morning and decide ah i miss music let me just you know what screw all these things let's get on with business again so i never know yeah but um I'd also like to apologize to my fans cuz again like I've said I know many people were disappointed most people didn't ride along with the decision of you know quitting music and quitting it cuz you know we never know <laughs> yeah so I want to apologize for hurting your feelings like that but in this life I've come to realize you just need to put yourself some uh, uh to, to put yourself fast sometimes there's that kind of selfishness that is healthy for your peace of mind so i had to like put myself fast for the f- for the very first time you know so apologies let's hope for the best yeah let's hope for god's intervention because i really love music but i really don't know Yeah. And I want to also thank my fans. Kama bado iko it's a valid statement fans. It is. I don't know <laughs> cuz you know when, you, when there's nothing to offer to your audience. I don't think there's that fan relationship, fan musician relationship anymore. So I don't know if that's valid. Um I'd like to thank them, you know, for this for those who supported me or those who still were against the decision but but the the, the decision but you know they still they were still like ah, she knows what's best for her you know like I, i want to thank them for the support you know yeah i won't lie i really don't know what people say what people said cuz i think from previous interviews I, i think i've made it clear i'm not the type of person to go and start scrolling on comments and be like wanna say manini i really don't care like again back to be putting myself first and my peace of mind lazima kuna trolls you know so I'm trying to avoid su- such things but either way whether you supported me or not you know these fans are the ones that make us who we are I'll keep saying that they literally make us remain relevant literally so I think most not yeah all every person who is in the limelight they should really be grateful to the fans because they are relevant just because of them so yeah that's pretty much it I think we are done. Yeah. yeah? We are done. I, was, I was actually just going to say that I think we are done. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I'm going to give a story na Miss P. This time is doing Miss Picante. I'm on Miss Picasa. Atatuambia akisha rudi kama atarudi. Thank you so much guys for watching Mambo ni mengi. For now, it is a bye-bye. I'll see you on the next one.